I'm sorry, I just thought that was a funny quote. The payment is, is pure true. love. What's sure, so what funny the, about I don't that? know, I mean it's true, <laughs> but I was just thinking that survey that they do, um, she's a chauffeur, that equals 40,000 a year. She's a cook, a chef, so that's another 40,000. So our salary should be like 200,000. So I was expecting the quote to say something like that. And it was just and it was pure, pure love. love. And I'm like, no wonder I'm broke. <laughs> Okay, oh, sorry about that. I'm sorry. Well, don't put those quotes in there if that's... The I think it, I, I thought it was a beautiful quote. I chose it. <laughs> it was, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Welcome, let's Amanda. Go. Hi. All right, so this is what's really cool. <laughs> Women are so creative, and if you have an idea for something, you can do it. We have <laughs> yes. proof in the studio. We bring proof to you every day in well, the studio. Well, okay, so Amanda, mm -hmm. you... Tell exactly what you do because sure. then I'll bring into what. Okay, go. Okay, sure. I have a healthy cooking show for kids. It's called The Good Food Factory. And it actually is one of the first healthy cooking shows to ever be on television. Okay, so for do kids. you. For okay, kids. so for kids, yeah. Do you cook with them? I cook with real kids, not fake ones. <laughs> not fake kids. <laughs> you stew them up not in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> my daughter, Portia, uh -huh. every day, I'm not kidding, every day, mom, I want to take a cooking class. Excellent. Every single day. I want to be a cook and a photographer, a cookographer. <laughs> okay. But now you have kids in your kitchen, so uh -huh. you must have a lot of patience. Yeah, I mean, and, and then also, you know, you just try to make really simple things. You know, and the, so, kitchen, the kitchen's a really fun place for kids to explore. So you make simple things with kids, and, you know, just don't worry if you make a mess. Well, you know, you, you did bring us some tips, but we're going to talk okay. about the tips, not right now. We're going to okay. talk about the tips in the next segment. But what I'm really interested in, mm -hmm. and what, for our viewers, because our moms sitting at home have great ideas, and, they, you know, they watch Food Network, mm -hmm. they watch mm -hmm. these cooking shows, and they think, I could do that, I have a great idea. Mm -hmm. What... What was your inspiration, first of all? Mm -hmm. And then what were, how did you do it? How did you just start your own cooking show? Okay. Um, my inspiration was kind of unique. I worked in a very large advertising agency in New York City. And I worked for a humongous candy brand. And so we did all of their worldwide advertising. And I would watch the strategy behind the advertising of the candy. And we didn't talk about the chocolate. We didn't talk about any qualities of the candy. We just did one simple thing. What? We made the candy fun. And the candy flew <clears throat> off the shelf. Like M&M's? Sure, you could say that. And, you know, the candy <laughs> flew off the shelves. And I was just like, you know, why doesn't anybody make healthy food fun? And that is... I, I can see the direct segue to that. <laughs> well, they, <laughs> Sorry. That's it. But yeah, they could... You know. Okay, so... Yeah, this is interesting, though, because they just did a... Uh, um, they had somebody on, uh, from the big advertising who watches advertisers mm -hmm. the uh, they monitor advertisers mm -hmm. and advertisements okay. but they were talking about the same thing how you don't talk about the quality of the food what's in the food right. anything like that you just create this emotion right a happiness around the product right and that's what sells exactly and so you're trying to create that same feeling around healthy food and it makes sense because it actually is a good emotion sure with junk food, you have to actually create a good emotion around something bad. Yes. With healthy food, you just have but to talk don't... about the actual attributes of it. But and with it kids, is good. with the children, do you say the word healthy? No. Because, okay, because no, I don't we, think my kids no. will work with that. They well. get they get all that messaging everywhere else. Vitamin K is good for this. This is good for your eyes, and you know, it kind of it, they're kind of zoned out to that so, at this point. I just make healthy food fun. So okay. So you're not ta you don't say oh this is eat this because it's good for you no. it's healthy for you because as soon as you do yeah. that yeah. kids are like oh well, I'm that as way as soon as you do that with me yeah, yeah. exactly I'm you that way do it way. to yourself it gets boring right nobody ever talks about an ice cream cone like that you know if somebody if you went into Baskin Robbins and somebody was like here's your dairy it's good for your bones you, oh you'd be bored before you even ate it you know right so right. it's important to talk about healthy food and. In, in, in an educational environment. Oh, look at this video of you. Oh, there's the show. There's your show, which is, and it can be seen at, um, what's your URL? What's your? The Good the Food, food fa Factory.com. Fa com. Yep. The Good Food Factory.com. And this show is airing, oh my gosh, look how cute you are. 
You, it just dawned on you? She's been in this for well, an hour. No, I know, but I'm watching her in action and how cute this show is. You got those little kids. Yeah, those are my friends. Helping you out. Yeah. Those are your friends. Those are my friends. Um, so how do you deal with the heat factor and the knives? The knives. <laughs> the knives. Well, you know? That, you know, adults help with cutting. And, you know, I always yeah. put safety tips in there. When you ha I always have an adult help you chop. I do a lot of stuff with blenders. I'll have stuff that's also pre -cut. I just saw the blades <laughs> in the blender going around. I'm like, whoa. Okay, well, let's go through. She has a lot of tips here. Okay. Um, let's go through a couple because we always run over. We always run out of time for yeah. okay. tips. So yeah. it, the tips are important. So, okay. hey, Curtis in the back, if you want to come up with some of those Amanda's tips, we brought those from the goodfoodfactory.com. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt you. I don't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Thanks. All right. Hi. Okay. All right. Um, well, we'll run into the tips. We'll get back to that later, Heather. Every time you go to the grocery store, pick out something you have never cooked before. So I'm assuming that you're shopping the perimeter of the store. Yeah. The fruits absolutely. and vegetables. Absolutely. And I do this myself, and I think it's really important to do it with your child. Um, one of the things, too, is never assume that you know everything as an adult because kids don't know anything. You know, they're starting from ground zero. So we have to put ourselves on the same plane as them, especially in the kitchen. I need, mom needs to learn some things too. Oh, absolutely. You know? Because I think as moms, that's one of the biggest stresses. What's for dinner, right? right? And you end up cooking the same five things right. over and over. We have a whole chapter on it in our book. Yeah. You, because you get into a rut. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I am afraid of cooking new things because I don't want to waste my time. Mm -hmm. Because I'm afraid it won't work out and no one will eat it. But just try anything. I mean, like, I don't, I've never cooked an artichoke. So I went and got an artichoke yesterday. Artichoke right out of the produce aisle. Yeah. Now I have it sitting in my kitchen. Right. What am I going to do? I'm going to research it. I'm going to look it up on the internet. How do I cook an artichoke and try it? But when you do that with a child and you're doing it together and they see you exploring, you are both going to try it. You're and they're going to try new foods. And they have fun doing this. And they have fun doing it because they're doing, they're learning and exploring with you rather than you teaching them and you're seen as the authority figure, together it's a little exploration and it's an adventure. Very and nice. If, and they take that pride yeah. in doing it themselves. You know what I yeah. mean? I, and that's a, I think it's great. Well, they feel like big kids. And we did it together. Yeah. You know, we all learned something new. Okay, a couple other tips here before we hit the break. Oh, right. Oh, we're already <laughs> coming up. See how wow. fast the segments yeah. go? When, that was the best tip anyway. Okay, so when we get back, <laughs> we'll run through Amanda's other tips. So stay with us on Mom's Town Live. 